Hi dear students, today we are going to discuss about a liber office writer. You know, it is a word processor software which help us to process the text that we enter into the computer. How we can open this? Look. Click on applications, office and then select liber office writer. Okay, here we can type any text. I already prepared a text from your English textbook. Now we are going to study how we can do any edit. Editing how we can do in this paragraph. It is natural that we make mistake while typing. How do we correct them? We can see the vertical blinking black line in the software window. That moves as we type. Isn't it? This is called the cursor. Cursor denotes the position of the text that we are typing. We can place the cursor anywhere in the text by clicking the mouse. Then next we are going to study how we can correct a word that you may misspelled. Here I typed the word assignment. I want to delete the word M. To delete First of all, place the cursor on the incorrect word. Use the backspace key to delete the letter on the left of the cursor. By using backspace key, the letter left of the cursor will be removed. And suppose we want to delete a letter right of the cursor means we can use the delete key. Isn't it? Next, you may be noticed some words with a red underline isn't it what it mean that is a dictionary is included in the word processor software each word we type is verified in the dictionary when a word which is not being included in the dictionary is typed this red mark will displayed okay then how we can remove this red mark just right click on the word with the red mark red underline and then once we can select add to dictionary add to dictionary means that particular word will be added to our added to our dictionary then the red line will removed and another way we you can ignore the word suppose you don't want to add to dictionary means just right click and then ignore then that word will be ignored then also here uh, we can see a red underline and you may not be familiar about the spelling then that time we can right click and they already displayed some words that are similar to the spelling that you type select the exact word from the list then that word will be displayed these are the some editing works next we are going to study how we can copy a text from an another folder or an another file look at here here we can see four vertical rectangle boxes isn't it just click here it is the first work area while clicking here it is the second work area you can select any word or you can select any text from the te text desktop or any folder here I am going to copy this particular text from this to our first work area for copying first of all select the text and then right click and select copy and click on the first work area and then edit paste that particular text that text will be pasted here you can use you can also use the shortcut key control plus v for paste and control plus c for copy okay then then what is meant by cut and paste 
cut and paste means suppose i want to cut this portion and that portion will be pasted in another place for that also first of all select the text and then click cut and place the cursor where you want to paste and then click edit paste that text will be pasted here and what is the difference between copy and paste and cut and paste copy and paste means a duplicate copy of the text will be placed here and cut and paste means that will be removed and that will be moved from that particular place isn't it can you practice these things today okay then we can see on the next class thank you